Hello, my cute dear students. So today I am here, your English teacher, and we will learn some English and teach you elementary English grammar and composition. So today we are going to explore something new, something more exciting with this book. And today, as you can see, the index of the book there are total twenty six lessons, but today we are going to start with lesson 1 unit 1 the sentence and part 1 of this book is functional grammar and correct uses functional grammar means what we use to construct like uh, jab hame apna language mein koi cheez construct karni hai tab hum jis grammar ka use karte hain usko hum bolte hain functional grammar and correct uses means where to put द कंटेंट लाइक जो भी पार्ट्स ऑफ सेंटेंस है या जो भी पार्ट ऑफ ग्रामर है उसको हम कहाँ पर रखें कहाँ यूज करें दैट इज द करेक्ट यूज सो नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद दिस लेसन द सेंटेंस ओके सो अ ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स That make complete sense is called a sentence. You usually listen so many sentences that uh, like a um, simple sentence. If we say, "So I am having a cute doll," or "I have a cute doll," or "My dog loves to walk in evening," or "I am having a red bag in my wardrobe." so many more i have but let's think if we disturb the order of the words in a sentence what can happen that order of sentence that placing of words is really very necessary and important to construct to frame a sentence a wrong order or a wrong placing of words can spoil the full sense of the sentence some important points are here the very first one is sentence always begins with a capital letter as you can say i used a here i used a here or the second is the words in a sentence must be written in proper order to make sense what we were talking before okay so the words in a sentence must be written in a proper order now the question is that what is the proper order to form a sentence so here i am will help you the proper order to form a sentence is svo and that svo stands for subject verb and object subject for what we are talking verb what's the subject in doing and object the thing or the person who usually receive the impact of the verb so the example is the dog eats bread here the dog is subject means the doer jo kaam ko kar raha hai eats is verb what's the work this do doer is doing and bread the impact of that verb is receiving by this object so this is the proper order or proper placing of words to construct a meaningful or you can say to construct a senseful sentence a sentence usually ends with a full stop sometimes it can be ends with some other punctuation mark what we discuss later so now i wish to tell you something more about sentence but that we will talk in our next video